Azam, let's bring up Babar Azam's numbers because uh, the captain of Pakistan has a reputation of being this, his team's best player. And we've seen across this World Cup, the teams with the best players, they've sort of stood up. They've managed themselves well. There's one point, obviously, is that they were fatigued. They were in Sri Lanka for a long time. He was playing the Lanka Premier League as well. Mm. Then there was the Asia Cup. Perhaps he was jaded, didn't start off too well, then got a 50 against India, but his dismissal triggered the collapse. Again, so against Afghanistan, got 74, 50 against uh, South Africa, 66 against New Zealand, got runs today as well. Four half centuries. Four half centuries, mm -hmm. consistent, but not barbarism uh, standard knocks. No, that's right. In one of those, at least one of those four 50s, he needed to make 100. At least one. You Can know. I be honest with you? He was batting beautifully against India. Yeah, I know. He started off very well. He was yeah. going at over on a ball. Mm. Then suddenly, the spinners came on, mm. just came frank, into his shell a bit. Came into his shell. Yeah. And that cost him the momentum. Uh, he probably felt that we can just keep going, you know, just keep going like this. But that's fine. So the run rate comes down a, a little bit. But that's fine. But you've got to ensure that you go on. But once you get out, then mm. it puts pressure on the incoming players because the scoreboard hasn't got the, 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 the amount of runs that it should have been re, uh, requisite to the amount of time you spend at the crease. So. Are you also okay with the, the, his strike rate? Well, just leave the New Zealand game when they had to literally go. Mm. And he actually caught up only at the end when he showed he went for it a few runs. It is a bit low, isn't it? But if he had a gone on, though, I think that might have, you know, you would have caught up. If That's what was... we've seen with the Kohli's of the yeah. world, the Warner's of the yeah. world. The Cork as well. Yeah. Van der Dusen as well, who's not, yeah. who's exactly, I think, he's in the Van der Dusen sort of template. Start yeah. slowly, That's take right. your time. Mm. But the good batters find a way of sort of yeah. accelerating, which unfortunately, see, he's not going to play like Maxwell. We don't no, expect him to not. play like he's Maxwell. A different, totally different he player. idolizes Kohli, but I think yeah. what he needs to do is study Kohli's innings breakdown. We did it once, I think, for yeah. one of the games. Yeah. How Kohli was after, what, 50 balls, he was at 35. Mm. But as he got to 70, 80 balls, he was almost on a ball over there. That would have happened to if he was able to go on and get a 100. Okay. Some more questions? Uh, this has no correlation to the fact that we were talking about Babar Azam, but Suresh asks, who, according to you, was the worst performer for Pakistan at this World Cup? Worst? <laughs> who was the biggest letdown? Let me just rephrase it and make it a bit more politer. Oh, dear. Um, uh, Babar? I suppose, yeah, but, you know, to be, can be um, unfair, but the expectations were a lot higher, I think, than, than what he delivered.